Man, 50. JR, B Day Boy. <laughs> Hello, I'm C Science 7 and today I'm going to be showing you how to use ULED Video Studio to record gameplay from your PS3, Xbox, or other game console using the EasyCap Capture Card. And before we start this video, make sure your EasyCap is connected properly and that your PlayStation or games console you are using is set to AV properly. Now for a tutorial on how to do this, click the link in the description below or click the bubble that has appeared on your screen right now. So let's get started. First, you want to open vid the video studio. Make sure you click movie wizard, but keep in mind that 69 should not be clicked. So that those two are blank. Click movie wizard. It should take some. It should take some time to load, but it should load in time. And if you're using Windows 7, it will change it to basic theme so that it runs faster. So it should load like this, and you just click capture there at the top left. It should do that little swipe. And then say change field order and should detect by itself. And once it's done, just click OK. And it should automatically detect your SMI grabber device. So now it's found it. Now let's go to format. Make sure that's MPEG. If it's different, try to get to MPEG or DVD. Once that's done, put it to wherever you want to capture it to. So me, desktop. And now go to options, capture options. Make sure it's capture audio and capture to library. You can click this if you want to, but I'll just leave it blank. You've got options again, video and audio capture properties. Input source, video composite. TV system, PAL, or NTSC for America, and say CAM for, I think that's Asia somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, click PAL if you're in the UK. Audio device, click your Realtek high, defin high definition microphone or whatever microphone you use. Input source, master volume, that's the only choice I have. And click use PCI audio. And you can click colour if you want, but I'll leave that as it is. Click capture, customise. I'll just leave this default because I don't really want to touch them and mess up my recording. So click OK there. Should detect it again if you've changed anything, which we did. And it should be doing right now. So yeah, the mouse changes as you go over there because it's recording 720 by 1006, but my computer's 1366 or something like that by 768 something big like that so the mouse gets bigger over this bit. So when you're ready, just click capture video and there you have it. Thanks for watching my video. Please like this video, comment on it and remember please subscribe. Peace. <laughs>